Hey guys, so I wanted to do, a lot of people have been requesting me to do, so I wanted to do an updated purse collection for you guys. Um, I did one about maybe six months ago now, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. And I think I have all new purses at this point because what I do is I buy and sell. So I'll buy a purse, use it a couple times, enjoy it, and then I'll resell it on Poshmark for a really decent price because it's always gently used and things like that. So I always resell it so that somebody else can use it and get love out of it because I kind of try to do the thing where if you buy one you get rid of one kind of thing so I don't accumulate all these purses that I'm barely using because they're sitting in the closet and things like that so I wanted to show you guys my new purses so I have purses like just sitting all around me I'm just gonna pick them up in some order I might have to lean over and get them so if I get out of frame I apologize but as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Leave your requests down below because I eventually get to them. It might take me a little while, but I get to them. And so, yeah, after this, I think I'm going to do a makeup collection. And then after that, I think I'm going to do a sneaker collection because a lot of people have been asking me to do an updated sneaker collection. So I think I'll, since I already did one, I think I'll just do the ones with the sneakers that I've bought since then that you haven't seen. Or maybe I'll show them all or I don't know. We'll see. So let me just go ahead and begin. So the first little one I have sitting in front of me is this super cute Tinkerbell purse and it just unzips all the way around and I just tucked the chain away inside. So it has a long silver chain and it's super glittery, super cute and her wings, she's all attached. And it is the perfect size. This is by Danielle Nicole by Disney. You can buy these either at Disney or you can buy them on places like Box Lunch or Hot Topic or things like that. They carry Danielle Nicole and I believe Dolls Kill carries Danielle Nicole, but don't quote me on that. Um, but it's the perfect size for a cell phone. It should fit an iPhone Plus because it does fit my X with a little room. So your Plus should fit in here. I had a lip gloss, gum, a compact mirror, a powder, a brush, a lip gloss and did I already say lip gloss and my phone and my cards in here when I went to downtown Disney and it all fit perfectly and so this is super cute I believe this sells for about like 60 bucks or 70 bucks it's either 59 or 69 um, but her things are pretty up there in price because they are Disney so they're trademarked and things like that but I love her items I've had a couple items from her so then the next one I have sitting up here is I bought this for my birthday this year, for my 20th birthday with the matching shoes. They had the matching flats and matching heels. So I bought them to go with this for my birthday. This is just an Aldo bag. It is this blush pink with all of these 3D, as you can see, they're all sticking off. 3D detailing the sequins. And then the back just has the little Aldo logo. The strap is half chain, half um, matching the bag. And then it's just the classic Aldo clasp that you spin open. And it's actually a really decent size. I've only carried this once, like I said, for my birthday. So it has the two cell phone pockets and the zipper pocket in the back. But this is a decent sized purse. It's so sturdy. I love that it's, you know, a structured bag, stands up by itself. As you can see, it's pretty wide in width, so you can fit plenty in there. And I just think it is so cute. It's such a statement when I wore it. Everybody loved it. I got so many questions. And I believe this retails for about 65 and I think I got it for, for 35 maybe or something like that on sale. And then the matching shoes were about the same cost. So I have that one. I love that bag. I keep it up as display in my room. So then my next bag, which I have never used yet, but I'm so excited to, is also an Aldo bag. So it is this really cute boombox inspired bag. This handle is stiff, so it stays like that. And then it has the, again, typical Aldo strap with the half chain and the half matching the purse. This retails for $60, but I got it for $41.98. Um, and then it just has a clasp on top and the whole um, front comes down. As you can see, all the packing is in it. I haven't used it. But again, this is a really good size bag. I think it's such a statement. If you wear it with like an all black dress, I was thinking with a denim dress. Um, just if you're going somewhere to a concert or something, I just think it's so cute to have just as a little like statement piece, just as like, cause I don't see very many people with this. I love Aldo bags. They're very structured. They're pretty good for the quality or for the price. You do get a little like gimmicks, like, um, for example, there's like a little scratch right here, but for $40, you get what you pay for but the only thing i will say about auto bags is that i will never pay full price for an auto bag like i just won't i will never go in there 
and buy a bag for $65 that's got a scratch on it or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I always watch their sale, download their app. Their app kind of does suck though. So continuing with Aldo bags, I don't think I've showed these to you guys, but I might have. But I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I have two of them. And let me just close it so you can see it. This is one. It is red, white, and blue. It's kind of a cream. It's not really a white. It's just, again, a structured bag. It kind of has that, like, going to work briefcase look. I love the piping on it. It kind of has, like, a Gucci-inspired look because um, Gucci came out with a bunch of bags that look like this. And so I also picked it up in the green colorway So because I thought this with denim would be so nice. And same thing. Aldo clasps are always the same. It has the Aldo on the inside really big bag and these this one still has the tag i've never used the green one but i have used the red one so these retail for 50 i think i got them for like 20 each i think they were on clearance when i bought them and that's why i bought two colors because i think they were more than half off and so i was like well i can get both for under the price of one so might as well so i have these two that i love i've used this one a handful of times and my mom's used it um, and as you can see, it's still in really good shape. The only thing is all those clasps do tarnish pretty quickly. Like they'll start scratching and the gold color will come off. But that's if you're looking really closely. If you're not looking closely, can't really tell. So it's up to you on what you want to spend your money on. And then, um, let's see what's next. I have, again, some of these I might have showed you. I might have not. I'm not sure. I don't think I've showed you this one. I have this, um, sorry, there's a little train case inside. I have this uh, Lounge Fly Hello Kitty black bag. I was looking for a plain black bag. I didn't want to invest, well, I have a plain black bag, but it's the one I'm showing you. You'll see it at the end because I'm just kind of sticking with these purses. Then I'll go to more of my like higher end. They're like Michael Kors and stuff. They're not high end, but they're pricier than an older bag. So I was looking for a black bag that I wasn't worried about scratching or spilling on or anything like that. And I love Loungefly. I happen to be in the box lunch store with my sister, I believe, because she loves that store. And I saw this, and they had this on sale for like 20 bucks. which if you know Loungefly, they're like $60, $70, $80, sometimes $90, $100, $120, depending on the bag. Oh, ignore my fake tan that is coming off. Don't look at that. Um... They had this on sale for like $20, so I knew I had to pick it up. It's so understated, like the Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty, but sometimes when you're an adult and you have this flashy Hello Kitty bag, it's kind of like, mm, is she an adult? Is she a child? I don't know. So I saw this, and I loved how you could barely see the print, but when you look up close, you knew it was Hello Kitty. I love the little detailing of the bows. It's all black, and I love that it had the all black strap, handling, everything. And then inside, I just have my little, for storage, my Michael Kors fanny pack. So it's just this little, super tiny enough for your phone and some cards, fanny pack. And it just, it comes by sizing, so this isn't a size small. So it just buckles, and that is inside there. And then another little makeup bag, but as you can see, it's a really good barrel size. It has the two cell phone top pockets and the zippered pocket inside. So I love this bag. It's super structured. It just stands up and it's just such an understated bag. And I love putting my big keychains and everything on that and dressing it up. Oh, my fake tan is so bad. And then sticking to Hello Kitty, I guess, I have this Lounge Fly Hello Kitty backpack which I use all the time. I really love it. It's super cute, super playful. Even though it is a black bag, you can use it over the summer because it's primarily rainbow. It just has Hello Kitty and some apples and strawberries, I think. Oh no, those are hearts. Just super cute rainbow. It has, it's super roomy. It has a big pocket in the front that I keep my lip gloss and cards in and gum. And then inside it has, um, ooh, another purse. What a secret this bag is. Um, oh, we have some trash. Oh, I love that. Um, it's just a big open pocket on the inside. So I love these bags. I love lounge fly backpacks if they weren't so expensive. Oh I, oh, I told you the Hello Kitty bag. Okay, so this one I probably paid probably 50 bucks for. I think they range like 60 or 70 and I probably got it for like 50 with a coupon or something like that. Because again, these are from Box Lunch. If you're looking for a really cute backpack, go to Box Lunch. They have Beauty and the Beast, Pokemon, 
Harry Potter, like all of the comics, everything like that, they have them. They have all the Disney princesses, Lilo and Stitch, like all of that stuff in these backpacks. So if you're interested in a little cute mini backpack, but not too many that you can't put nothing but yourself on it. I hate mini, mini backpacks. Like give me a mini backpack, but not a mini, mini backpack. You know what I'm saying? So I got this one and I love this one. And then inside was this cheap, like cheap, like I think like $7 amazon boho i tied a knot in it bag i thought this would be so cute for like beach trips and things like that to just throw your water in your sunblock your cover up an extra change of clothes maybe or even just a one night stay overnight bag so i just picked this up off of amazon because i just thought it was super cute to have as like just in case you need it kind of thing and then the next bag i have is you guys have seen this one in my last haul or my last purse collection this is my dooney and burke it's just my rainbow um bitsy bag i think they're called and it has the tag and everything on it this is 158 i think i bought this um from a lady who she was selling it online she lived in my neighborhood and she was selling it and i think i got it for like 45 bucks like how stinking cute <clears throat> excuse me so I think I got this for like 45 bucks. I love the black. As you can see, I love black bags. I love dark bags. I love black, gray, and white are like my favorite bags. I will buy them over and over again. But I can like justify it because they're like all different. You know what I'm saying? So these are super tiny. These are more of like a cell phone, maybe a small wallet. And they do have two big pockets on the inside instead of two cell phone pockets. Um, but it's just so cute. I love this bag. I have a Victoria's Secret keychain that looks super cute on this. So you guys have already seen that one. And then I believe you've seen this one as well. I'm not sure. This is just from Marshalls. It's just a super cute like boho green bag that I use with like denim outfits or something like that when you want to pop a color but not too much color. It's like a suede. And even though this purse was only like I think like $16.99, it looks expensive. It looks like it costs more than $16.99 because it's structured and the hardware is not a cheap flashy gold. It's detailed and everything like that. So I love this bag. And they actually had like three colors of it when I bought it and I wish I bought all three colors. It's super like, the, that's the only thing I don't like is they put these things so you can't open it. So it's kind of tight on the inside, but once you get in, it's got a good width to it, if that makes sense. So love that bag so now on to my more like higher end but they're not high end at all um they're just like more expensive this is my all white Dooney and Burke that I just recently got I think a couple months ago oh my keychains I have my Dooney and Burke keychains that I keep on my Dooney bag um this is my all white I'm not sure what the style of this called it's just when I walked in the store I knew I wanted it I knew I had to have it I love patent leather bags and I love white bags so this is an all white patent leather Dooney and Burke with gold hardware and like these keychains just like take it to a whole nother level you know what I'm saying sorry it's kind of washed out it's nighttime so I have my lights on but it's just all patent leather. It has the feet on the floor, on the floor, on the um, bottom of it, top handles and side strap. And then this is what sold me. If you buy Dooney, you know Dooney's purses are like always a red on the inside. Look at this color. It's just like this muted blue. I don't even know what kind of blue this is. Like what kind of blue is that? I don't know. It's pretty. That's all I know. And it has the two cell phone pockets. A big pocket in the back and a zippered pocket in the back. Your Dooney logo detailing. I wonder if I put the tag in here to tell you what the style of this bag is. I love this bag and when I carried it, I was just so nervous to scratch it. Let's see if this tells me. The Cara Satchel it is the white Cara Satchel. You can see that. And I think this is regularly like two fifty eight dollars or something like that. And I believe I got it for $90 um, at the outlets in Orlando. <coughs> okay, so then my next bag is, it's in this Michael Kors dust bag, but it's not Michael Kors. It is a fossil. And it is this hot pink, oh, I love this color. 
and it's all leather but it's a coated leather so it's more of a shiny it's like a smooth leather it's not a leather it's not a natural leather it's a coated leather is this hot pink fiona satchel i believe it's either fiona i think it's fiona and then this is just a hand sanitizer holder my sister bought me to match it that's super super cute has the little key detailing on the front i love the brown with the pink because it kind of makes the pink more like rustic looking more than like a flashy pink it's more of like a oh that's a cool pink it has the um this is from the inside but i took it out because i hate it on the inside this is the like key strap thingy and then it has the of course side hook what i love about these bags is they unzip all the way so like you get a really good opening on the bag and it has the pockets in the front and the back which i love these are your easy access pockets so you can slip your debit card in there or your gum or your lip gloss and you don't have to dig through your whole purse to find it and then the inside is pink as well and it's super big and roomy two cell phone pockets and a zippered pocket in the back and i love these bags i love this style bag from fossil it's so structured it's not too big it's not too small it's just super cute to me like i just think this is a really cute pink bag so i love this one i had the if you've seen my other fossil video i had the light pink but it was a raw leather so like your jeans and stuff would stain it and everything like that so i went to fossil and they allowed me to exchange it for this bag so i believe these retail for about 168 or something like that and i think i got this one believe it or not i think i got this one on sale at the outlets for like 40 something dollars so i was stoked about that because duh like ring me up and i also have a fossil wallet which i meant to bring you but i forgot so then this one which i'm not sure if i've showed you i don't know this is my kaffir mini michael kors satchel and it is cheetah print kaffir oh it won't come out the bag not sure if i showed you guys this is a beauty and the beast my mom got it for me it's a little beauty and the beast um uh change purse by the same danielle nicole so these are like 20 bucks i think because she got me that so we went to the beauty and the beast play the ballet and so i wore this to the ballet with this bag so it is kaffir on the front and on the back so you can kind of see the texture and then i'm not sure if it's leather or not i mean i would assume it's leather but it's got the braided leather on the sides which is what sold me i just love it it's got the open front in this pocket you have the three uh card slots and then you have this middle zipper oh i love this bag it is so cute i want the matching shoes for it so bad you have the middle zipper and then you have in the back just another plain pocket this bag is super super tiny let me see if the price is on here um so it's regularly 328 and it is the uh hair calf butterscotch messenger <coughs> in mercer and I did not pay three twenty eight. I think I might have paid like one fifty or one sixty for this bag, maximum probably. I think I paid like one sixty probably. Um, but I love this bag. It's super cute, but it's not functional on the inside, so I don't use it that often because, as you can see, it's super tiny and you can't fit a wallet. So you have to put your three favorite cards in there and go. You know what I'm saying? So I love this bag and I want the matching shoes. They're still on Michael Kors's website. I might pick those up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I love that bag. And then I have one more bag for you guys. So I'm just trying to put this back in the dust bag because if I don't do it now, I won't remember. Do you guys do that? Like, if you don't do something right away, like, I just, I won't come back to it. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll get to it. No, I know I'm not. So I'm just going to do it right now. So when I'm done with this video, I can put them all back in my closet and not lie to myself because I would be lying if I said I was gonna get to it so I think in this bag I think I have two bags but one of them I think you guys have already seen oh yeah okay so I have this one which you guys saw in my Christmas haul if you watch that it's just a small um Dooney canvas tote in the um this isn't cheetah print it's called something else but I love the red piping on it my mom got me this for Christmas I think she said she got it for like 50 bucks or something like that and it's just the classic canvas um, material. I'm trying to look for the tag. Usually I keep my tags. 
Um, I think she got it for like 50 bucks, 48 bucks or something like that. If you go to ilovedooney.com, it's kind of like their outlet store, but it's just all of their stuff from the season before. And you'll get really, really good prices on there. But I just love the red piping and the... I just loved it. Like, I just thought it was super cute with like an all black maxi dress or like an all black fitted um, bodycon dress, some black heels. Like, yes, girl. Um, and it's just, it's got the long strap. And again, it's just got the big, it's got some trash in there. Don't judge me. It's got the big pocket, the zippered pocket, and then the medium pocket in there. It's a really good size for a bitsy bag, but I love doing these bitsy bags because they're like bitsy, but not too bitsy. So, like, as you can see, I love their bitsy bags and then along with that bag in the bag is my pride and joy I love this bag so much this is my other Michael Kors calf fur it's tote it's all calf fur oh she's so cute I just loved how <coughs> how flashy it was like it had this thingy on here it has all these thingies look at this strap it's so heavy it's so sturdy and then you can also let it loose so on the oh here i was just looking for this oh, my keychain so oh my sister just asked me to borrow this i told her i didn't know where it was it's like my little card holder um on the inside it has this little thingy that you can undo hold on pa pause momentarily hold, hold on your girl is stuck oh, and it becomes more of like a bucket bag more of like a tote bag which i love because it gives you so many options see mine's gonna get stuck like that because i've been carrying it like that but you could use it like this so it's so much bigger i kind of like the shape of it when it's tiered like that but it's very it's a lot more functional like this because your laptop could fit in it your ipad things like that and on the inside of course it's super roomy got the two it's hard to see because it's all black two cell phone pockets and then oh, it's got three pockets oh i'm learning something new every day oh okay so it's got three po okay look look, look y'all look it's got one two three and then if you come down in here let me try to show y'all it's got mini pockets so here's the big one for like your lip gloss it's got mini ones so it's got six pockets right here wow love that oh and then it's got the big zipper in the back and the little one and then there is the i didn't know this was in here either the little key thing <coughs> so this is my pride and joy i love this one this one retails i think for 428 and i think i paid like two maybe around 220 for it or something like that i always try to wait for them to go on sale i watched this bag for months and months and months and months and months and finally like six months later it went on sale i believe they still have it online but not in black i believe they have it in a burgundy but i don't think it's calf hair i think it's just their leather and so i think they have it in a burgundy and something else but i loved the black with the gold it was just so gaudy and so flashy and i loved it so Anyways, that is all of my purses except the backpack I'm using right around the backpack I'm using right now, but I forgot to bring it upstairs. It's just a cheap, um, not cheap actually. It's an all green Italian leather um, backpack I found at American Eagle. It was regularly $108 and they had it 80% off, so I got it for $18. I was like, yes, and I went to go see if they had more because I'd get my sister one and stuff. No, but it's like just an army green, plain, like boring backpack, but it was all real Italian leather. So I was like, $18. $18. So I picked it up and got that. So that's the bag I'm currently. I've been loving mini backpacks over the summer because if you go to a theme park or if you go to the outlets or something like that, it's secure. Nobody can like bag snatch you, which actually, you know what I was thinking about? I haven't heard of that in a long time. Do people still purse snatch? Do people still bag snatch? Because I remember when I was a kid, it was always on the news. Some lady at Walmart was getting her bag snatched or Target or Publix. But I haven't heard of it in a long time. Is it just that there's so much more crime we're not worried about the bag snatchers? Or is it because there aren't bag snatchers? Y'all let me know if you've heard of a bag snatcher. Okay, because I haven't heard of one in a long time. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what you guys want to see next. And yeah, I love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.